In this tutorial in Tyler Pro, we're going to look at one of the animations available to you called Float and Pop. It comes with six different presets and will give you a picture of what each of them does. I'm using version 1.5 of Tyler Pro, which came preloaded with my copy of PowerDirector. And everything you see on the screen is part of an 8 second title. I'm going to go ahead and play that so you can see what happens. We have a little bit of animation going on, but our main sentence, until Labor Day only, is static. Uh, we'd like to use the float and pop to change that a little bit. So we'll go back to the beginning of the particular title, and we're going to add that. I have the track called Until Labor Day Only highlighted. It's blue. And then I'll click on my Library tab in the upper left side. Float and Pop is an animation, and they're found inside the transitions. So I can click on the right arrow to the left of the word Transitions. It will show me I have Animations, Starter Pack, or another subcategory of Transitions. Or I can click on the word Transitions, and it will give me those same three subcategories in the column on the right. So you can have it pop up either way. When I'm in Animations, if I click the arrow there, it'll go to a down arrow. And then I have all the Animation categories. Likewise, I can click on the word Animations, and I will have folders I can look at. We're going to use the option here, which is called Float and Pop. So I'll click on that. I have six preset subcategories. I'm going to double click on the first one just to put it into my particular uh, sentence here. So now this is controlled by Float and Pop. The first option, the preset, is called Canon. What I'm going to do here, uh, to make it easier for you to see, I'm going to drag it down and make it about 7 of the 8 seconds long so we can see the transition and watch exactly what happens. We'll have future lessons where you can customize these. But you notice the default for Canon under Float and Pop is it applies to words. We'll look at the other features later when we customize these. But I'm going to take the slider and drag it slowly, and you'll begin to see what it does. As I move in here, you see the letters coming in, and it's applying to the word. First it does only, and then a little bit to the left. It does day, and then labor and until, and then it moves them down to the bottom. So that's the Canon approach. I don't have to change anything. I can use a drop down. Let's look at the second one. The second one is called drop in. You notice a difference here in the preset. It applies to the letter, uh, not the word. I'm going to take this and drag it. We'll begin to see it working. There's the exclamation point. And again, it goes from right to left. And the letters come in at the top. And they shrink and they drop down one letter at a time in this preset and wind up at the bottom. So that's float and pop drop in preset. Okay, let's look at the next one. The next one I'd like to look at is called float down. Now this is a different application in the preset. This applies not to a word or a letter, but to a line. And let's see well, how this one works. We'll take it and we'll drag it. And we notice it comes in very quickly, all the characters at once. And then they merge on a single line and move down to the bottom. Okay, so that gives me my float down. The next one in my presets under float and pop is called flyback. This applies, we know, to letters. Again, we can change these things in the future. We'll show you how they work. And we're going to move our slider down. And you see it beginning on the right side with, a, with the exclamation point, then the Y. And then we're going backwards only. And then it merges in the upper third of the screen, and then the letters come down. Again, it's hard to see this when you go full speed, even when I slow it down, 
but you begin to see what's going on here. Okay, the next one we'd like to look at, we better stop our preview here, is instead of flyback, it's called flying letters. And uh, we'll move the scrubber to the left side and see what this one does. This applies, as you would guess, to letters. And then I'm going to go ahead and see what happens. Again, we have uh, the letters coming in in the middle of the screen and about, about in the center. Then they start to shrink and they come in in an uneven pattern. But by the time that you get to the end, they go down as one. It's a shootout. Okay, let's see what shootout does. Okay, the characters come in large, that's the float part, and they come in and they, they wind up just slightly above the baseline, and then they shrink and drop down just a very little bit, and there you have it. Now obviously when we use the, this particular kind of preset, we normally don't set it for quite so long. We would set most of these to maybe a couple of seconds at the most, and then when you begin to play them, uh, the movement is so quick, it's visible to the eye, but uh, it's not all that noticeable. Let me even shrink this down to a little after a second, and there it comes in. And we'll go back through it. Fl flying letters will be the next one we'll see. And that pops in pretty quick. And then the next one is our flyback. And you notice when we do it this fast, it's hard to tell the difference between some of these. But float and pop is a very nice option in your animation presets in Tidler Pro.